Did you know that just because of this, eaten with corn, you could end up with cancer and dementia? Even though corn is a healthy food, there are foods that pair well with it and others that don't. So, even with something as good as corn, you have to eat it well to benefit your body. If you eat it with foods that are bad for you, you could actually harm your health. That's why we've prepared. For the prevention of cancer and dementia, here are three worst pairings of foods with corn. And three best pairings of foods, I'll tell you all about them. Hello, I'm your health expert, Dr. Cuckoo. Are there still some of you who haven't subscribed? Please subscribe and press like right away. Please also share with your precious ones. And please introduce Dr. Cuckoo a lot. From now on, I'll only bring you the best health information. All natural foods are packed with nutrients that are good for the body. However, depending on how you cook and eat certain foods, you could either consume all the healthy nutrients or even harm your health. Knowing the compatibility and best consumption methods of each ingredient is the best habit for your health. For your health, Dr. Cuckoo will always be there. Today's protagonist is, drum roll please, corn, the best snack with a crispy texture and subtle sweetness. Corn is one of the top three staple crops in the world along with wheat and rice. In our country, there are various types of corn such as sticky corn, sweet corn, and field corn, and it's commonly consumed as starch, syrup, oil, canned, and even as cereal. Corn is rich in dietary fiber, which is good for gut health. And it contains plenty of linoleic acid, which is great for preventing cardiovascular diseases. It's digested slowly, keeping you full for longer. And it's low in fat and calories, making it a popular choice for diet foods. However, did you know that even with such a healthy food like corn, there are foods that can harm your health when eaten together. And there are even people who should never eat it. So, from now on, let's explore together the three worst foods for cancer and dementia prevention. When eaten with corn, and the three best foods that can help extend our healthy lifespan. First of all, the worst thing is, just consuming corn. Corn is rich in carbohydrates and protein, as well as potassium, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. Making it really good for health. Especially, it's rich in dietary fiber which is good for gut health. The dietary fiber in corn is soluble, giving it a sticky viscosity in the intestines. Not only does it keep you full for longer, but it also helps remove visceral fat. Pay attention here, even with the health benefits of corn, there's a significant issue. Namely, the deficiency of niacin and tryptophan, essential for our body's metabolic function. Here, niacin, also known as vitamin B3, plays a role in assisting the chemical reactions that produce energy from nutrients. So, consuming only corn can lead to a deficiency in essential amino acids, resulting in the development of pellagra disease. Symptoms such as dermatitis, fever, and gastrointestinal inflammation can occur, which can be fatal. Therefore, it's essential to supplement with other foods that can provide these nutrients along with corn. Wait, there's an even bigger issue. Corn has a very high glycemic index, making it extremely dangerous for people with diabetes. The glycemic index GI of cooked corn is around 75, which is quite high, indicating high blood sugar levels. With over 30% carbohydrate content, it inherently puts a significant burden on blood sugar. Moreover, if you add sugar or sweeteners when boiling corn, the burden on blood sugar becomes even higher. The rise in blood sugar increases insulin resistance, ultimately increasing the risk of diseases like cancer and dementia. Therefore, substituting corn for rice in meals, or solely relying on corn for dieting is really dangerous. First, the recommended food that pairs best with corn is milk. Corn lacks essential amino acids such as niacin and tryptophan, so it's necessary to consume pork, beef, or fish rich in niacin, along with corn. Even simpler and easier to incorporate, the best pairing is milk. The reason is that milk, although lacking niacin, is rich in tryptophan. The tryptophan in milk is converted into niacin in the liver. So consuming milk not only fills the deficiency of essential amino acids like niacin in corn, but also provides tryptophan, which is good for relieving insomnia and depression. Furthermore, whey and casein in milk help regulate the blood sugar levels of accompanying foods, lowering the high blood sugar levels caused by corn. On the contrary, lysine in corn helps calcium in milk to be absorbed well in the body making it a perfect match. 
In the future, be sure to include corn and milk together. The second worst corn food is corn silk tea. Were you surprised? In fact, corn silk tea has many health benefits. Corn silk contains excellent antioxidants such as flavonoids and chlorogenic acid, which are great for anti-aging. It also helps remove free radicals from the body, preventing cell mutations. Moreover, the lutein in corn silk aids in fat breakdown, helping to reduce body fat and expel chronic inflammation and toxins from the body, making it excellent. The most important thing is its diuretic effect. If waste products don't circulate well in the body, it becomes swollen. This is edema. If edema repeats, it leads to weight gain, eventually turning into fat. When you boil corn silk tea, inositol, glucose, and catechol components help excrete excess water, relieving swelling. Therefore, utilizing the strong diuretic effect of corn silk tea, it is also effectively used in the treatment of kidney stones, nephritis, jaundice, and hepatitis. But pay attention here. Those with weak kidneys should never drink corn silk tea. Some people boil corn silk with beans to enhance its diuretic effect. But this should never be done. Excessive consumption of corn silk tea artificially enhances diuresis, causing not only swelling reduction but also putting a significant strain on the kidneys. This can lead to chronic kidney failure in many cases. Also, corn silk contains a lot of potassium, instead of accumulating potassium in the kidneys. Exacerbating kidney stones and nephritis. It acts as a toxin to the heart, leading to cardiovascular diseases, and in severe cases, cardiac arrest. So, drinking corn silk tea like water is not good. Especially if you have weak kidneys. For our valuable subscribers, here's one more health tip so you can take corn as a tonic. Instead of corn silk, try boiling corn husks and drink it as tea. Corn husks contain beta sitosterol which strengthens the gums and prevents gum diseases like gingivitis. In fact, the most famous medication for gum disease is made from the ingredients of corn husks. It suppresses the growth of mutin streptococci, the cause of cavities, and has an anti-inflammatory effect, making it very effective for oral health and gum disease prevention. So, make sure to include it. Boil corn husks for tea or gargle with it for preventing gum disease, it's really good, so remember it. Secondly, the best food pairing with corn is cabbage, as it not only protects the stomach and aids digestion, but is also a powerful food with anti-cancer effects due to its abundance of vitamin U, making corn and cabbage truly the best match. If corn or corn silk tea burdens the kidneys with its diuretic effect, cabbage, although low in potassium, is rich in vitamin C and vitamin K, protecting the kidneys. Additionally, the abundant phytochemicals and sulforaphane in cabbage have anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer effects, synergizing with the anti-inflammatory properties of corn. Moreover, cabbage, rich in polyphenols, lowers blood pressure, prevents platelet accumulation, benefiting cardiovascular health, and with abundant high-quality calcium, magnesium, and vitamin K. It's excellent for preventing osteoporosis, especially when consumed with corn to enhance calcium absorption. Furthermore, cabbage is good for brain health, dementia prevention, and even eye health when consumed with corn, as the combination of corn's vitamin A, lutein, and zeaxanthin helps prevent various eye conditions such as macular degeneration, dry eye syndrome, and night blindness. Significantly reducing the risk of cataracts and glaucoma, making it the best match for eye protection. Enjoy cabbage salad with corn or cooked cabbage. With corn for a delightful combination. Last but not least, the one thing you should never consume with corn is butter. While you might enjoy grilling corn with butter for its rich flavor, it's definitely not a good combination in terms of nutritional compatibility. Firstly, corn kernels are rich in tocopherols, beneficial for preventing adult diseases. The potassium in corn helps excrete sodium, suppresses blood pressure elevation prevents hypertension, and aids in blood sugar regulation. Most importantly, corn is rich in linoleic acid, an essential fatty acid that lowers levels of bad cholesterol in the blood, preventing cardiovascular diseases such as atherosclerosis, hypertension, heart disease, and stroke. Consuming corn, which has such beneficial effects, with butter nullifies all these benefits. Butter, being an animal fat, is high in saturated fatty acids which when consumed in excess, can disrupt cholesterol metabolism. 
raise levels of bad cholesterol in the blood, and lead to cardiovascular diseases. While there have been recent claims that butter is good for health and high fat diets are beneficial, since corn is a carbohydrate, consuming it with butter significantly increases calorie intake and is not conducive to good health management. So it's best to avoid it. So, how should we eat corn then? Lastly, the best food pairing with corn is avocado. Avocado, often referred to as the butter of the forest, is a tropical fruit rich in vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients beneficial for health. It contains abundant potassium, which helps regulate blood pressure, preventing hypertension and stroke, while its ample vitamin B6 boosts immunity, enhances inflammation suppression, and strengthens the cardiovascular system. Additionally, avocado's dietary fiber serves as food for probiotics in the gut, promoting their growth effectively. Furthermore, avocado contributes to robust cardiovascular health and significantly lowers bad cholesterol levels. When consumed with corn, it creates a tremendous synergy. Therefore, in the future, make sure to pair corn not with animal fat like butter but with avocado. The butter of the forest, for its smooth texture, easy digestion, and both health and taste benefits. Up until now, we've explored three foods that are the worst combinations with corn. And three foods that are the best. Let's summarize together. Instead of consuming corn alone, make sure to pair it with milk. And for those with weak kidneys, consider boiling corn silk instead of just consuming it alone. Additionally, remember to include cabbage in your diet. Lastly, avoid pairing corn with butter, and instead, enjoy it healthily with avocado. How does that sound? I hope you found this information helpful in taking care of your health. Thank you so much for being with us for a long time. If today's video has been helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Also, be sure to share it with your beloved family and friends. I'll always pray for your health and happiness. That's all for today from Dr. Cuckoo. Thank you.